everyone! It's my birthday! Woo! So, I'm gonna make be making two different cakes, maybe. Maybe one is ready tomorrow, but... Um, well, I'm gonna be making an ice cream cake. Alrighty. So, I'm gonna make this easy on myself. I bought the store-bought ice cream, the Briars Carb Smart ice cream. So, I have a vanilla and I have a chocolate here. They've already been softened, so we can just... So, we're making an ice cream cake today, my favorite cake. I always have a Carvel cake, so this is going to be Carvel-style ice cream cake. Um, I'm going to start off easy, and I'm going to put my um, store-bought ice cream, the Briars Carb Smart, in. I just sprayed a little bit of non-stick oil on my, um, on my glass dish. Woo! And then I'm just going to scoop the ice cream, vanilla first, into the um, pan. The reason why it will be vanilla first is because um, in the Carvel cake, the vanilla is on top. And when we dump our cake out, we're going to be flipping it over. So to be a Carvel style cake, we're going to do the ice cream like that. go. It's nice and soft. Smooth it out. You want like a, as nice of an even layer as you can get. And I didn't quite use the whole gallon, so I'll save some of that for some, something else. And then we're going to be making our crunchies next. Go on our next layer. So all I did was I melted some coconut oil and some, don't listen to this because this has a little, a little bit of sugar in it, is um, molasses, but just a quarter of a teaspoon, so just like very small drizzle. Um, if you like, you could try to use like a sugar-free syrup instead, that would probably be better. But, you know, I'm happy that I'm saving my carbs by eating my Carb Smart ice cream. I'm happy that I'm making my own crunchies, so... Um, this is probably a lot less carbs than the normal Car Carvel cake. So, that's what I'm trying to do. Just make the best option for me. Again, if you don't like it and this is not for you, that's fine. Um, I hope you guys will like and subscribe. If you subscribe to the channel, it tells me that you guys are liking the content. I could be making some more. So, um, let's grow this thing. And the next ingredient is going to be... I'm going to pour this into our bowl. Again, just the smallest amount of molasses. And then I'm going to use a half a cup of almond flour. A third of a cup of um, erythritol, or you can use monk fruit or whatever sweetener that you prefer. And then um, I'm going to use two tablespoons of cocoa powder. I put a little bit more in here, but. And then we're going to mix that together. And you're going to mix it until it becomes a crumb like material. You kind of want to like mash it all in, get it all together. Until it's like a crumbly crumbly substance. So here's what mine looks like so far. I'm gonna keep mixing it. Alright everyone, so now we have our vanilla cake in there. I just finished mixing my crunchies. I actually added two more tablespoons of cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder, so that's a total of four tablespoons. And it's kind of crunchy like this. It's not going to be exactly like crunchies. Um, it actually tastes more like a crunchy brownie batter, but um, we're going to put it in our cake and it's going to be delicious. So here we go. So then I'm going to put the crunchies layer on. Just kind of like break it up a little bit. Sprinkle it in the middle. That way you get that crunchy texture. 
And then after we get done with this, we're going to um, put it in the freezer until after dinner. And two or three hours later, it'll be ready. And I actually might make some more of this for the top. All right, so that's in, and then I'm going to take my chocolate ice cream. And I'm going to put that layer over the top. started using so there's a little bit less of that. You could use the whole thing. But if you're starting with a fresh gallon, then it will probably be not the whole gallon. And then once this sets, I'm gonna make a nice little whipped cream. Just like Carvel icing. Um, my cake. And, all right, so there we go. It's going in the freezer for two to three hours. Hey everyone, I'm super excited. Here is my Carvel ice cream cake. Yum! And um, I made my whipped cream. All it is is um, heavy whipping cream, um, a half a cup of swerve, and a uh, half a teaspoon of vanilla and then we whipped it like um tom helped me he must have whipped it for like five minutes and it came out this beautiful whipped cream texture Hello. there's adriana and now all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna frost my cake with it so i'm gonna scoop some on there and then i'm just gonna take a knife and spread it out it's even better if you have a metal spatula with that. Uh, Alright guys, here's my cake. I just put my frosting on it. It looks delicious. Um, you can pop it back into the freezer a couple minutes if you want it to be um, nice and hard. I just put a couple of sprinkles on it for the kids. And, um, and we're going to have a great time. Carvel cake and it tastes so good. Guys, here's our review of the ice cream cake. It was delicious. No one complained. Everybody loved it. Even the non-keto people liked it. So this was a huge success. The crunchies got all nice and crispy and crunchy in the freezer. Couldn't tell. And it was great. So I highly recommend this recipe. Make sure that you guys go down and subscribe to my page and hit the thumbs up for the like button. If you want to receive notifications, hit the bell icon. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. The best birthday gift would be if you would go and subscribe to my page. Thanks guys, have a good night. If you really like this video. What are you doing? You're I'm not doing good. That was You still love it. I just love it and I'm like, you're a giant, 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 giant. giant. Woohoo!